Hey YouTube, so I just got back from the Northwest Natural Hair and Beauty Expo in Toledo, Ohio. Um, I went for the early part of the day. Um, it had lots of vendors, uh, live performance, uh, poetry, um, workshops, um, and such. Um, I went down with Satin Curls 2011 and Unchanging Beauty, both here on YouTube also, both my friends. Um, um, I was able to uh, sit through a workshop on natural hair care with Megan Davis. She talked about um, natural hair care, some of the basic terms that we're used to using, and she was able to answer questions, common questions that people have about natural hair. We also were able to sit through a workshop with um, Michelle George, author of The Naughty Truth, um, on hair care and on locks and on the composition of hair. She definitely knows her stuff. She's pretty well educated in hair, the composition of hair, and um, you really feel confident listening to her um, because you can tell that she knows what she's talking about. Um, I was able to pick up her first book, um, The Naughty Truth. Okay, This is just regarding managing um, my type of hair. Her second book was more on locks, so I didn't pick that one up because I don't intend on locking my hair. Um, there were lots of vendors there with, um, you know, just natural products. Um, there was a vendor, Be Beautiful. I bought, picked up some uh, Shea Smooth Body Scrub, and I also picked up a body butter, and they threw in um, a lip balm. There was a beauty supply there called Powell. And I was able to pick up the Talia Wajid um, Stimulating Herbal Cleanser. And I picked this up because I tried this same pro uh, product uh, when I picked it up at the Faces Frozen Funk Naturally Fly Detroit uh, meetup two months ago in August um, during the product swap. I was able to pick it up. It was probably less than half of a bottle or so, but I liked it a lot. It helps for it helps me out and they had it here which is good because they don't carry this here in Jackson Michigan where I live um, I found jewelry there were lots of jewelry purses um, crocheted headbands uh, there was a, a jewelry vendor called uh, where I picked up this um, bracelet let's see if I can Oh, you can see a lot better without the shot, without the light on there, and it's hinged. It looks like it's like an enamel, and I like it a lot, so I picked that up. Most of the vendors have very reasonable prices. Um, there was also um, a vendor that was doing henna tattoos. I'll insert the pictures. Those people also have a website, uh, Le, Le Salon de Natural. Um, they have a website that also talk, that talks about hair, health. Uh, they also have um, recipes. They, they, well, they told me they have recipes for, you know, if you make your own natural hair products at home. And um, I'll include their website. Um, there were... Uh, people there on site uh, actually showing how to do um, natural hair type styles. Um, I believe I saw a steamer there. Uh, uh, there was a lady demonstrating on um, how to do the comb coils. Um, you know, just, it was, it was very interactive, live music. There was an African drumming there uh, during the early part of the day. We didn't stay for the whole day because we had to get back. You know, it's an hour from here to Toledo. But it was a really good time, and I would say I would go again um, if they have another one. Um, Toledo, I would say the natural hair community is much smaller uh, than Detroit, for sure. Uh, probably larger than here in Jackson, but... Um, I would say most of the girls down there were coiled, uh, well, actually uh, locked. I would say most of them had locks in their hair. So not too many people were had their hair out too much, but it was still a very good time. Uh, the workshops that I attended were very informative, um, and I would definitely go again. Thanks for watching.